What you rubbing on? Man, this truck pulled in here overnight. I don't know where it come from, but it looks like it has delivered us an engine. Oh. We don't know who this that is. The, this may be the, the owner. The owner, huh? <laughs> Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Miss Shannon. Good morning. Well, uh, I know, right? right? Well, uh, I reckon we'll talk about this a little more as as video goes yeah, along. That's right. All right. You just say the clean room part of the shop? <laughs> I haven't found a dirty part yet. Yeah. So uh, we are fixing to do some testing on uh, Big Bird. This was originally the wall, uh, the Pro Power that we got with our new car, and uh, we had it freshened up, and here it is. You think? That was out back. Uncle Ted, you playing with dogs or race engines? I'm playing with dogs. I'm playing with race engines. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? You want to tell them about it? That is a real crate motor. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a stage three USMTS spec that engine. Full 15. Uh, it's a bulldog. It's bulldog. As in, As in what? Georgia. It's a Georgia Bulldog. Georgia, Georgia Bulldog. Bulldog. It's not a Mississippi State Bulldog. It's look, a... look at this. That red. Mm -hmm. So when we popped that motor up at Why Not, it hurt our feelings really bad. And we we were in a bind. And uh, Ted and Shannon stepped in. And we yeah. greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, while Ted and Shannon had this in the works of getting this from Mullins, we Let's also... take a walk. We also had Mr. Ronnie with wall to wall stepping on the gas on this thing. So this is Big Bird. And it's back. And uh This was the Pro Power. Yes. And Mr. Ronnie had to go in and do some stuff to it and uh got her all freshened up and uh it's a beast. It's and smaller it, than that mullet. And this one here I got to thank Bubba Trotter for yeah. stepping up and helping us with this one right here. So we've been, we've definitely been blessed and, yeah. and uh, we're, we're very thankful for everything going on. So now we have two really awesome power plants. Say we, what else you have that's so awesome, So we Daddy. mentioned, we got a good driver, but we got another driver coming. We mentioned that we may be bringing a driver in, then we lost our only engine and we lost the backup engine, so we was out. Now we got two engines, two cars. We're bringing him in. Who? Hotfoot out of Pennsylvania. The Hammer Man, Drake, the kid Troutman. Okay. He is coming to town. He's coming you to sure Wyoming. You sure you want him to drive? I'm not sure I Are want you him to sure drive. You want yeah, because that I'm would afraid. be bad if he beat you in your old car. Or if he tore my old car up. I ain't worried about tearing nothing up. <laughs> nah, got, he's clean. We got another one coming, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Speaking that's of, that one will be here in a month or so. Well, not here, but finished. Engine so. or car? Car. Okay. Well, hopefully, yeah. Well, yeah. Then anyway. we got big things happening. Then we got to make a decision on engine. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, a lot of great stuff happening. Yeah. A lot of great people behind us, and we greatly appreciate it. Certainly. Absolutely. Certainly. Couldn't do it without everybody that's that's a part of it. Twenty twenty three is going to be a good year. Yes, it is. So yep. let's get to work. I think the crew chief's probably going to come over here. He uh, he yeah, knows that. Stop. Yeah, he knows Uncle Ted's in town, so he's going to grab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure it's about cornhole, but we'll see. All right. So are we firing this up tonight? So, I'm in agreement we are. Okay, so well, what what are we gonna need to fire this up? 
Obviously, we need a radiator. No, no. But you bought a brand new one. She ran over it. Oh. Ran over it with her car and blamed it on your dog for What's knocking it over. On the warranty? Yeah. I said, did it? Did you just hear it sliding or did you? And she said, no, I, I felt my car come up. So we're going to check the quality of that radiator because she got on top of it with that infinity. Yes, ma'am. I said, hey, I left y'all's radiator in the garage. Well, wherever the radiator came from, it made my car smell like fried chicken. So I know. That's Steven, that's uh, Aaron Wilson. Aaron Wilson. Okay, so I know what happened. Pepper grabbed that box and drug it through the garage. It's yes. my dog's fault. And that's why it's I my dog's fault. And y'all know I can't see over the steering wheel. So you're blaming it on my dog. Yes. Anyway, let's put the engine in and we'll I see if we got a radiator. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but box not like fried Hold up, George. Right, Go, right, tighten right. it back up. Tighten uh, it back up. No, Where I, I want to get it all on video, so tighten it back up. <laughs> are I we mean, tightening really? it or are we, are we loosening it? When we tighten it back. What are you doing? He's he it told me to tighten it back what? up. We got no, it. No, take it off. What do y'all want to do? <laughs> I was picking, man. Well, I mean, it was for the camera. Uh, damn the camera. <laughs> I'll have to edit that out. The, the, the radiator's sharp. It makes you bleed. I mean, that's, that's why I didn't want no part of it. So why are we tightening it up, putting it on, taking it off, tightening it up? Either we got it or we ain't got it. We got it. it. We okay. found it. We didn't know if we had it, right, but so, we found it. So, Ted, are you tightening it up or are you loosening it? Up? Well, right now we're working on our tightening and loosening skin. Yeah, well, we got that. He done wore the bolts out yeah. on the fan. Got no skin left on the back of my hand from the radiator blades, but hey, we're good. We're making sure that everybody knows righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. yeah, nothing like a nine inch fine yeah. thread bolt. That's what you get right there. <laughs> on the cheese grinder. Yeah. Shredder. Cheese <laughs> shredder. But cheese hey, shredder. we got it now. Hey, we we can put it. our fan back on and everything's gonna work. We got racing. We gonna need the Hattiesburg for Hey, the hey, I, I didn't, uh, for some reason, I didn't loosen that one good enough. Which one? Let's see. No, I mean, are you? You didn't loosen the, the last one. one. How, how many's left? All right, we fixed the kick this bad boy off right here. Are we? Yep. We gonna put that new fan on? Yeah. No. Yeah, Are I'm you? buying the used fan. Come Which on, one man. you want? We're going to move that fan that you spent 30 minutes off the Windex cleaning. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask y'all something. Is that the same? Is that the same side? Yeah, good? check the back hole though. Is that the back it hole? It is. Three? What you working on, Miss Shannon? I'm working on football for today. Who are we watching? Right now we're watching Michigan. We're waiting on Georgia. Okay, Georgia. Anyways, it's Saturday. Pepper's chewing on something. Nothing unusual. Special. We've got. What's up, Big Daddy? Present. Howdy. <laughs> Uncle Ted. Rocky's been missing in action. He I'm has sure been. Everybody knows he's been missing in the video here lately because he's been. Uh, he heard that Troutman's coming to drive my stuff, so he showed up then. Troutman did say he wants to cuddle with you. Did he? He did. Oh, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cut. <laughs> All right, we're putting Cut, putting said. a big motor in, <laughs> in this car for, for Drake to have to deal with. So uh, y'all stay tuned.
back one's work good. No. So what would you have done if this thing got uh got out from under you over well, at our house? He just, just went through the house with her, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't care. Went out through that field, just spun donuts until she stopped. Mm. Smells new. Where's everybody at? Yeah. Dad's working on the video. Make money off of you. clay out of a frame onto a Here, floor then sweep it because you may have to defend you yourself walk right over there grab a box put under the frame i don't think it. he's listening rock he's gone you think his hat was turned so what away. what happened here rock i was trying to tell you a story a minute ago and i could tell you was distracted he took all the clay that was built up in here and pushed it on the floor on the clean floor, clean floor. instead of getting a box over here and to catch it, it. Into the box. But I mean, I'm, he's learning. Sometimes it's difficult, but hard lessons. That's what you tell him. <laughs> and he goes to the yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another one that puts stuff on the floor. Yeah. All right, yeah, so, serious. all right, let's get serious. So, we've talked extensively off camera, but we hadn't really said much on camera about how blessed we are i mean i know we mentioned here and there but man these last two weeks has been a whirlwind uh for me i know for y'all it's just been really awesome uh it was up and down up and down and uh it's just you just it's, I, it's can't com- I can't comprehend it it's just amazing to me where uh in the past year especially but more so over the past three years how much everything has grown and it's just amazing to me it's a blessing all the way around I've always been that person that there's been several people in my life that walk up to me and they're like what are you doing what what you going to work for what are you doing and I'm like how do you explain to somebody this what do you well when you was in the second grade you said I'm gonna be a race car driver and and that was okay like, back then. But it was okay because yeah. he was yeah. in the second grade. He just he just doesn't know it. So anymore. now you're a race car driver. And, and that's, and that's, that's your the job. hardest thing you, to tell You somebody. struggle with it. I'm, I'm okay with it. I pull out a business card and say he's a YouTuber and he's a professional yeah. race car driver. You're living your dream. But it's because of people Certainly. like Ted and Shannon, Eddie and Britta, yeah. you know, John Robichaux early on. You know, we could go. We could go through it here, man. It's there's so it. many people we have met and connected with, and God has put them in our lives, and we've become family with these people. You know, Bubba Trotter, Rocky, George Gilbert, Charles, all the people that are that are on board with us. You know, and everything we do, and we're the great friends we're meeting at the racetrack, and you know, it's just it's been it's been great. So. People that don't race don't understand. Man, it, it's unreal. I don't understand. You do this and you do that and you're up there all the time. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, but I love it. You know? Yeah. It's 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 not just it's not just in your blood. I mean, it's you can't sleep at night thinking about it. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. And I, did I do this right? Did I do that right? You yeah. Know? Can't forget about this. Can't forget about that. Man, and I worry that I forget to thank people that's done stuff for us. But, man, I, it's not intentional. And I truly appreciate anything that everybody has ever done for us. You know, some that's in my mind that's been on my mind is uh, Chris and Shane. You know, I, 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 I've got stuff worked up for them. But, you know, we met them a long time ago. And they're, they've been great. And wow. just, just people after people after people. Yep. And, you know, and that's the other thing. Mr. I Ronnie Rogers and Miss Gay, you know, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I have a lot of big sponsors, but man, 
the the regular people that are just you guys that are watching my videos that come up and shake our hands yep. and purchase my merchandise from all over the yep. country. That's just what's crazy. That, that it is. is. That like, is. Yeah. I know George has mentioned, you know, us going out of town and people coming up that, yes. you know, at, at a racetrack. And he's just set on the tailgate of the trailer. We're kind of getting used to it because we've seen it enough. But George and Charles is like, what in the world? You know, this is crazy. And we're just living the dream. Just very thankful, very blessed. So back to Ted and Shannon. You know, they just celebrated their 27th year anniversary, I believe. Exactly down here with us delivering a power plant for this yeah, thing 10 states a hundred or 1700 miles yes. something like that yes so, uh, maybe more than that i don't know but it's yeah. just and that's the part of it that's really crazy to me is there's people there's been people that have given me a lot and done a lot for me but just somebody like that that's just yeah just provided for me to be yeah. able to do this comfortably because that's the other thing is a lot of people fail because they don't have the backbone and I've Absolutely. got I've got one of the strongest backbones that yeah it's just it's it, amazing it's we we've definitely got some roots out there and it's pretty solid and I'm very I'm excited to see where this is headed but with people like that on board with us and all you guys it's going to yeah. be a good time it's next year but this is the stuff y'all don't see. Y'all may see us get stuff and go, oh, they don't even appreciate it. We uh, spend a lot of time sitting here talking about stuff like this. Amongst I mean, ourselves. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's just never, never something that's on camera for it is, it is definitely appreciated. And uh, so by now, y'all know we got a Mullins under the hood of this one. We got a, a beast right here. This, this, this big bird is a wall to wall. We have... Uh, two good solid power plants drake the kid troutman and kevin is coming down and they're going to spend some time with us and drake's going to wheel this hot rod right here and i'm excited about it if he behaves yeah scared. yeah you <laughs> better scared. be scared this is going to be <laughs> some good it, stuff it, man I, i'm excited it. i'm excited to spend time with kevin and drake right. and uh I am too. miss Lori. We, we he's going to be in good hands we're going to take care of him so absolutely yep. looking forward to it but this will be the end of this video. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to have them here in the next couple of days as we're winding things up, getting ready for the Fall Classic at Why Not. It's going to be a busy next few weeks. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, we're, racing, yeah. we're racing the Fall Classic this coming week, and then we're going to leave out next Wednesday or Thursday to head out to race with USMTS, and that's three nights of racing as well. Oh, but we might have to talk about Right, we're going USMTS. Well, I knew that. Yeah. But now next, this this coming you Wednesday might. or Thursday. No. Okay. No, Thursday's when you're going to be going with me. Thursday, we're headed to Wyoming. Okay. Practice Thursday. Okay. Heat, uh, qualifying heat races Friday and then feature races Saturday. Oh, no. As of now, the weather looks beautiful. I'm going to be hunting, hunting Oklahoma. Kansas. That's where I'm going to be. Okay. That's right. Okay. So one other thing that, that wasn't in this video, I don't think we got any content of it, but I wanted to mention it. Uh, for Ted and Shannon's anniversary, Ted was looking for something to do to entertain Shannon while we were down here, and Adrian suggested taking her fishing. Shannon loves to fish. We Good went job. last night. Yeah, some friends of ours owned some uh, a pier on Back Bay in D'Iberville, on the D'Iberville side. And man, we wore out the white trout. I'm talking about we fished till we were tired. It was just one of them times. It, it didn't matter what you threw out there. You caught a fish. It was a great time. Can't believe we didn't video it, but uh, we had a really good time with with Ted and Shannon. So they're on their way home. So uh, we enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next week. Yep. Thank y'all again for everything. Really appreciate it.